Hi everyone, welcome to Simple English Channel and today finally we will cover the body paragraphs of line graphs and we'll learn how to write body paragraphs and a uh, little bit of comparison structures. Uh, if you if you missed the last videos about line graphs, we talked about introductions and overviews. You can watch those videos right in this corner and let's start it. Okay, so important things you have to know about writing body paragraphs. So you have to write for line graph one or two body paragraphs. It depends on each line graph. There is an optimal rule for it. Okay, the second thing you must know is that you must mention the beginning and the end of every single line. For example, every line with the beginning and the end. And also another important thing is that you must mention important changes in between the beginning and end. For example, in this graph of meditation, uh, there is nothing important in between. That's why it can be skipped. However, in the red line, there is a little bit of increase and then decrease, so therefore this trend should be mentioned. Okay, finally, let's talk about uh, sample body paragraphs. So this is a graph, it says percentage of total music sales by method. So important that it's measured in percentages and different methods of how music was sold. Okay, so body paragraph, looking at the graph in more details, I usually start my body paragraphs like this, looking at the graph in more details. At the beginning of the period, only 5% of purchases were made using streams, while the proportion of sales by downloads and CD purchases accounted for 35%. So, well, uh, here you can see that I used instead of sales, the word purchases. Uh, this is a kind of way of paraphrasing and this is like backward paraphrasing, you know. For example, if someone sell, sells something, someone buys it. If someone gives something, someone gets it, right? So, 5% of music was sold using streams and it means that 5% of music was purchased using streams, was bought using streams, right? Okay, and 55, 35 and 55 respectively, it's over here. You can see it over here respectively. And the popularity of downloads and streams slightly rose by 10% in 2014. So downloads and streams slightly rose by 10% in 2014. So if you pay attention, 2014 it was 5% it was, uh, in 2011 and it became 15%. So 10% increase, right? And this one was 35% and became almost 45%. So this is also 10% growth. Okay, by contrast, the figure for sold CDs went down until 2018, when it made up about a quarter of all sales. So, it went down until 2018, all the way up to 2018, and here it made up a quarter, which means 25%. It's right here, right? It's 25%. Okay, and this was by 5% less than the indicator of downloads, which was 30%. So, by 5% less than the red line, the downloads. Okay, as regards streams, uh, as regards streams, they continue to increase. So you see, they continue to increase. And by the end of the time span, time span means period. This one means period. Almost 40% of all music was sold using streams. So by the end of the period, it's almost 40% sold by using streams. So that's it. It's simple enough. So with uh, only a couple of sentences, you can finish your writing your body, uh, body paragraph. And it doesn't take much effort. Okay, let's go to the second body, and it is also uh, parcels delivered by Federal Express and TNT mail services. Uh, again, I am starting body in the same way, looking at the graph in more details, right? Uh, why we write this sentence at the beginning? Because uh, in overview and introduction, you don't usually discuss details. So the body paragraph is the place where you usually discuss details, and that's why uh, it's better to start like this. At the beginning of period, FedEx delivers three times more parcels compared to TNT, which sent only about 5,000 parcels. So at the beginning, FedEx delivers 15,000, uh, 15, and TNT delivers three times less, which was 5,000. Okay, 20 years later, 20 years later, it means in 40s, right? 20 years later, the figure for the former each at its peak at just below 25. So this vocabulary right here, former and latter, it means like the first thing that's mentioned in previous sentence and the next thing, like last thing mentioned in the previous sentence. So first thing mentioned was FedEx. That's why former means FedEx and the latter means TNT. So the figure for the FedEx reached its peak at just below 25,000 right here. Whilst the rate of the latter, which means uh, rate of the TNT, slightly increased to 8,000. So to 8,000 right here. 
In 1960, both giant mail corporations had about the same number of deliveries, which comprised about uh, 12,000. Okay, in the 60s, they almost had the same, right? Okay, then, in next two decades, the amount of mails received from FedEx went up almost uh, 20,000, and the company maintained at this level until 2000. So it went up to almost 20,000, and it maintained at this level to all the way up to 2000. However, from 1960 to 1980, TNT didn't experience huge changes in the quantity of deliveries. So it didn't experience huge changes, right? Uh, but during the following 20 years, during the following 20 years, like these 20 years, uh, the figure boomed and eventually exceeded FedEx by constituting 25,000. Exceeded, right here, it means to become more than FedEx, right? So it eventually exceeded FedEx to become more than FedEx and constituted 25,000 in 2000. So that's it. This is also simple enough and a little bit of com uh, complex structures, though it's not difficult to write. Okay, let's analyze our third essay, and this is number of arrests per year using illegal drugs, for using of illegal drugs. Okay, so again, looking at the paragraph in a more detailed way, you can write this one instead. In 1991, there were about 55 arrests due to utilization of unlawful drugs. So, utilization means using, and unlawful means illegal. Then, in next two years, so it was 55. Uh, then in next two years the figure approximately halved it means become two more two times less so approximately halved it became about 20 right uh, approximately half and it got uh, for 20. however three years later in 1996 the indicator almost retained its previous position so uh, 1996 it retained almost retained previous position so it, it was 55 and it became 50 it almost retained and the number of arrests for consumption of illegal drugs made up about 50 per year. So about 50 per year. It's right here again. Until 1999, every year police arrested from 40 to 50 people who used unlawful drugs. So from here to here, police arrested from 40 to 50 people every year, you see. Uh, why I write this? I could write fluctuated, but for this I have to say number of the figure four indicator. However, I have always I have mentioned all of those structures, therefore I just wrote with active sentence. Okay, at the beginning of new century, which means 2000, 2000 new century, the violation of law by selling or buying drugs became widespread, which means very popular, and about 80 people were sent to court. Sent to court means like arrested, right? In contrast, in 2001, the rate dramatically dropped to just below 20, and by the end of the 2005, 20 offenders had been arrested. So by the end of the 2005, only 20 people were arrested. And that's it. This is also simple, and it's not wordy, I guess. Uh, so if you keep writing in this structure, it will be very, very easy for you. And that's it for today, guys. If you like, if you like the video, make sure you put the like sign, and if you have some kind of questions, write comments. And of course, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon.